Welcome to 2 News First at 4, and we begin with the latest on the condition of Richmond Police Officer. Police Chief Michael Britt shared an update late this morning, stating Officer Sierra Burton is still with us. 2 News reporter Allison Gens is live from outside Miami Valley Hospital, where Burton remains surrounded by family after being removed from life support. Allison, what do we know about how she's doing? Yeah, John Brook, Chief Michael Britt provided that update 20 hours after his last one. And the news that we got is that Sierra, Officer Sierra Burton is still alive and not much has changed since yesterday afternoon. In his latest update to the community on Facebook, Richmond Police Chief Michael Britt says, quote, Officer Sierra Burton's condition did not change much overnight and she is still with us this morning. She still remains off of life support. According to Richmond Mayor Dave Snow, Officer Sierra Burton was taken off of life-sustaining efforts Thursday morning. On Wednesday, the police department announced Burton's injuries were unrecoverable and that her organs would be donated. Burton was taken on an honor walk through Miami Valley Hospital, surrounded by family and fellow law enforcement officers. An honor walk takes place when a donor patient is taken from their room to the operating room for organ recovery. But instead, an update came in that day. Burton is alive and with her family. Mayor Snow released a statement Thursday. Although she was removed from life-sustaining efforts this morning, she is still with us. We know the time of her passing is imminent. However, right now, her family is spending precious time with her. Officer Burton was shot in the line of duty on August 10th when responding to a traffic stop. She was taken by care flight to Miami Valley Hospital, where she's spent three weeks fighting for her life and she is not giving up her fight yet. Chief Britt saying, quote, Sierra continues to remind us just how strong she is. Chief Britt says his department is closely monitoring the situation and will continue to provide updates to the community as they occur. Live in Dayton, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.